guys channel for flippers video number 33 and today what I'm going to be doing is comparing a couple different inclinometers the eye gauging angle cube there, and the yin yang TLL 90s um, what I'll do is I'll go through and I'll compare one and then go to the other uh, this is what I've been using for most of the time that I've been sharpening uh, it's the angle cube. It's uh, 26 to 30 dollars, depending on where you buy it. It's built like a tank. Um, there's really no calibration, but there is a zero set. Really strong <coughs> magnets on three sides, so it makes it easy for um, whether you're doing a KME or uh, Wicked Edge or other device. Um, it slaps on there and, and doesn't move very well. It does have a zero set. Of course it's moving around a lot right now because I'm holding it. But you could set zero the base of whatever your um, sharpening system is and then put it on your stone and it actually for the, uh, for the KME it's like this and for the Wicked Edge you'd be putting it on like this. Uh, it runs on, a, I think, a 9-volt battery and uh, seems to last a really long time. Um, I used mine a lot and I was getting uh, six, seven months of, out of it before I had to change the uh, thing. It does have an auto off. Um, I don't know if I mentioned, but there's really no calibration for this other than just the zero set. Uh, really versatile. It's uh, Resolution is 0 0.05 degrees, repeatability is 0 0.05, and accuracy plus or minus uh, 0 0.2 degrees. Um, I think in some of my videos I might have mentioned that it was uh, plus or minus 0 0.2, uh, but it really is 0 0.1. I think I was looking at maybe some a, a different kind of angle, angle cube. I guess it's that that's for that one. This is the uh, Ying Yang TLL 90S has a lot of capabilities beyond what you would use for knife sharpening. It's not necessarily built like a tank. It's got uh, machine surfaces here and this is magnetized but not as good as the magnet on, on the cube. Another machine surface over here and these are relatively flat. So in a pinch, you could probably use uh, use these sides. Uh, it has a zero set, um, and uh, it's a rechargeable battery using a USB port. And I'm not sure what some of this other stuff is. It also has a laser, so you can use it for things other than sharpening. You can see this? Probably not. There you go. So next time I put a shelf up, that come in handy. <laughs> the calibration on this thing is pretty involved. Well, it also has a machine surface on, on this side and a, a groove in there for laying it on pipes, which doesn't have anything to do with sharpening either, but it's kind of cool. Uh, the thing I like best about it, it, it also has like two modes. It's got... Uh, this mode, which I guess is a, a one plane angle measurement, or it has flips into that mode, so it's like a a, a full excuse me, it's got a full level thing going on. Uh, the thing I like about it best for sharpening is that uh, probably won't be able to read this, but uh, most of the angles I sharpen at are between uh, 0 and 20 degrees. That's its highest accuracy area, and it's plus or minus 0 0.005. So that's like, um, what, like 100 times more accurate. You go above 20 degrees, then it drops to 0 0.01. Um, so it's, uh, what, 10 times better. The, in terms of advantages and disadvantages, uh, this is built like a tank, has really strong magnets on three sides, so it makes it easy to, uh, to put wherever you want. Um, 
an accuracy of plus or minus 0.1 degrees, that's probably as close as you really need for most, most normal people. The big advantage of this is the, uh, the accuracy, and I have been using it on, uh, on my Wicked Edge. Uh, some of the downsides is it's not built like a tank, so you can't be throwing this around a room. It's larger. So if you have smaller surfaces you're working with, this might be a little bit more difficult to find a spot. Because the magnet's not that strong, uh, it is strong enough to stay on my uh, wicked edges, like, like at this level. But like with the iCube, you, you do your zero point here, and then you can slap it on the uh, thing, and it, it gives you the the true um, angle reading. On this one, because you have to use this surface with the magnet, uh, you get the, um, what do you call it, the complementary angle. So for instance, if you want to have uh, a 20 degree angle, you set this at uh, So you have to be able to do your math. <laughs> but I found out that's not that big of a deal. After you start using it for a while, you, you think, except I, I missed it right there, but you, you can think of the angle you want and then this fits right to it. And so then when you're doing your micro adjusts on this, well, here, here's kind of an advantage. When you do your micro adjust on this, you'll make a small change and nothing will happen. You make no small change, nothing will happen and all of a sudden it'll uh, overshoot or if you get lucky it goes right to the angle you want. On this one, it changes every time you make a little adjustment in the micro adjustment. So you can really kind of get a feel. In fact, there's also, I think there's a little bit of a drift in the mechanical portion of the micro adjustment in that whole system. So you'll actually see it kind of drift into um, the spot. And actually, I guess don't, I don't know whether that's actually the mechanical system of the sharpener or the time it takes for this um, gyro system to restabilize into uh, the new position. So if you, like I said, for 98% 90, of the uses, because it's built like a tank, lasts a long time. Oh, I didn't mention that. This is um, USB charged, but I found that <coughs> If I'm having some long sharpening sessions, this maybe only lasts a couple knives, and then I got to recharge it. Maybe three knives. Uh, in this one, I've had for you know, seven, eight months, and I had to change the battery once, and I used it as much as the other one. The the cube you can get all sorts of different different places: Amazon, eBay, etc. Um, this I think I got from uh, Alibaba, but now I see that Newegg carries them. But this was like 130 bucks versus 30 bucks for that. You buy a nice knife for 130 bucks. You can almost buy a sharpener for 130 bucks. But I figured if I'm going to invest in a uh, a Wicked Edge system. By the time I'm done outfitting the whole thing, it's going to be like a thousand dollar sharpening system. So 130 bucks to get really accurate angles is good, but it is not needed. It's for those people who really want to make sure they're getting the exact same um, angle every time, which, which I may be fooling myself on because there's so many other variables in how the blade is mounted, the uh, the you know, different twists and thicknesses of the blade and all that sort of thing. But if I get pleasure out of using this one, and and I use this one if I just want to do a, a quick sharpening, and I just want it to be easy and, and fun and fast. Okay, so this is how I actually use them, uh, and I'll be showing you both the uh, cube and the TLL90S. <coughs> um, I either zero it on the table, most of the time I do on the table, just make sure it's clean. And of course dust, metal dust collects down here. 
and I go ahead and I set, uh, it's actually reading zero already. Uh, sometimes I'll do it up here, but it doesn't seem as steady. And uh, of course there's no super guarantee that this is perfectly flat against this, but um, repeatability is probably more of what I'm going for. And so I, I set it up down here, same, same with this one. So, moving here a little bit closer. So I'm down here, I'm setting the zero. I come up here. I think you need to make sure that this thing is lined pretty well on here. Instead of using a knife blade, I'm using just a straight edge here. And it reads, 19.90 and there is 20 and if I change this around a little bit like 19.7 you see how it, it moves in uh, a little bit of spurts. Sometimes there's like a, what do you call it, hysteresis. There's a word for the day in the system. Put it on 20 so we can kind of compare it to uh, what the um, TLL 90S comes up with. 1995, 2000. Okay, there's that. So now we'll turn this on. And you can't see it, but I'm going to zero it out. so we'll do a zero and because this is the only magnet side I have to do that <coughs> and uh, what I'm looking for is uh, the complementary to 18 degrees excuse me to 20 degrees which is uh, 70 degrees so it's reading within point Oh, 03 degrees which is um, well within the accuracy of agreeing with the cube. But now <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little change, make another little change. And what's cool here is you can kind of see, hopefully I've got enough uh, adjustment here, kind of see the incremental changes just little movements and that's what I really kind of like about this we're nearly there go back a little bit and I don't know if this is the uh, the angle meter doing this or there's just like this little bit of hysteresis that overcomes I would never fiddle around with it this long. As long as I'm <coughs> uh, within uh, 0.01, uh, I'm pretty happy with what I'm getting. So that gives you an example of, of how it works. Uh, there is no... And then for the other side, just come over here and... Uh, You can flip this around and the, uh, the display changes changes with it. All right, so now wrong direction.
When you move it fast like that, uh, it travels further than what you want. Seventy point oh three oh four. Now we'd probably take that right there. And I'm kind of curious what we have over here after we made that change. And it's 70.02. So it changed a little bit over here, but that's because uh, maybe some slight inac inaccuracy in this and also I jiggled something somewhere. But that's that's fine. It's um, still almost uh, six times better than the uh, the cube. So hopefully that gives you an idea of uh, what this does versus that. You know, again, in kind of summary, thirty bucks, one hundred thirty bucks. Magnets all the way around. Stronger magnets. Magnets only on one side. Uh, three machine surfaces, but you really only use this one. Or this one, if you're holding up against a non-magnetic surface. This one will last you many months on a single battery. This one's got to be charged every few knives. This one accurate up to plus or minus 0.1. This is accurate up to plus or minus uh, 0.05.